Let's talk about block quantization. When working with FP8 on modern GPUs, we're getting extremely high throughput at the cost of any sort of precision. When we look at the values we can represent, we're losing the ability to even represent certain integers in our uh, format. Now, in order to make this precision work at all, we need to take advantage of any sort of trick that can buy us back the ability to represent numbers, particularly representing their scale. One idea to make this more plausible is to associate a scalar value with a block of different FP8 values. This allows us to introduce some additional information that tells us just the relative scale of these values, but not actually add too much extra memory or additional computational cost. The idea here will be that for every four values in a row in a vector, we get one additional scaling value, which will also be FP8, which will give us a better way of giving the, the rough scale of where these values are. When converting from FP16, we'll basically start without these scaling values, since FP16 provides enough bits to represent the necessary scales, and we'll quantize this down where we have both the new F8 values that we've created, as well as these additional scaling formats. We're basing this off of a proposed format known as microformats, where this additional information is passed along in hardware. When computing things like matrix multiplications, we will basically start with our values in some sort of float 16 representation here in BF16. And right before we do the matrix multiply, we'll run this quantization, where we'll convert them basically down to this smaller format. This follows format will have the FP8 values in the format we had before, and it will additionally keep around these scalars. The scaling values will have a particularly interesting form. They'll have no sign bit and instead have eight bits representing the exponent and zero bits representing the mantissa. This is because they're primarily used to give us extra information about the scale of the values we need. We then need to do this matrix multiply, accumulate into a higher precision format, and then pass things through the neural network itself.